So we're Rachel and Andre, and we live in our tiny house, which we call the Sapphire Tiny House, um, with our two dogs here in Bend, Oregon. This is our tiny home. It's a, a tiny heirloom. It is a 20 foot long trailer. And it's kind of cool because they've extended out the seating area onto the tongue. And so we get an extra three feet, I think, on top of the 20. We're connected to power. We have satellite internet up there on top of the shop roof. We do have a composting toilet, but we pipe our gray water into the uh, sewage for the shop. A uh, septic tank, actually. Septic for tank, the shop. yeah, yep. sorry. <laughs> um, and yeah, so our propane sits right there and then our, our water heater is right there. The house is uh, fully wired for solar. We have the solar panels. We have not put them up on the roof yet, yeah. <laughs> but, ho but soon we will have the solar hooked up and we're hoping to fuel all of our usage yeah. off of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shall we go on it? So welcome inside. Um, this is our main living area. It's very cottagey, which makes it really cozy and we feel really comfortable in here. This is our seating area. You get some storage underneath here on one side, which is great. A um, little extra there. And then the dogs have their full couch <laughs> as well. And it's great. We've got a lot of shelving, um, which is perfect for books. Having a little bit of decoration and not quite as big of a sacrifice on just personal belongings since we can fit a lot of little things up top. And then we put in this uh, breakfast bar area. Andre works from home a lot, so it's a great little space to just set up and do some work or eat. One of my favorite things about the home is the uh, amount of windows. Like we have a ton of awesome natural light. You know, living in a small space, I think it's really important to bring the outside in, obviously. If these were solid walls, I think we would feel, you know, much more enclosed and claustrophobic. We've got a uh, Dickinson propane heater. It's been perfect for winter. I really love it. It's like having a mini fireplace in here. So it's been awesome. And then here we've got our kitchen, um, which I always like to say I have more continuous counter space than I've had in any apartment that I've ever lived in. We do a lot of cooking in yeah. here. It's got a lot of good storage, a lot of cabinet space. Um, we have a lot of open shelving. I've just been able to get everything that we need for cooking and um, baking and things like that in this kitchen, which is probably my favorite <laughs> space to work in here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, an apartment sized fridge. Um, an apartment sized uh, stove. Uh, so we, very small sacrifice on appliances, I would say. We don't really notice any difference. Yeah. In this cabinet, we have our uh, inverter for the solar setup. So this is kind of more of a little utility cabinet. Yeah. And then here is our one and only closet space. So we hang our clothes in here. We also have a, an all-in-one washer dryer, which is great. It takes forever to dry, but it is still a luxury to have a washer and we hang dry a lot of our clothes anyway. So, um, and then here is our bathroom. We've got our shower, um, vanity, and then uh, we have the separate composting toilet here, which we think is really great. It's nice, it looks like a regular toilet. We don't really notice that it's any different after a while. It's just very low maintenance. So yeah, that's kind of our main level. We also have two lofts. So up the ladder, we have a guest loft, which we usually use just for some storage. It's a good little nook up there, um, very tiny, so we've only had some small compact guests stay up there, but it's still great uh, nonetheless. And then we've got our uh, staircase up to our master loft, 
we use all the great cubbies in the stairs um, to store our clothes, which is perfect. We don't have a lot of clothes, but we actually get a surprising amount of clothes um, in this house for only having a small closet for the two of us. So our master loft uh, has, you know, full queen size bed and it has some really beautiful built in shelving in there um, that Tiny Heirloom did a great job on. Um, it also has a uh, roof window, which opens up all the way. Perfect, you know, fire exit if needed, but really it's awesome to be able to stargaze at night and just check out the weather, you know, the moment you open up your eyes. So we really love, love our space up there too. Hey guys, it's Alexis. And Christian. Thank you very much for watching our video. Yes, and subscribing <laughs> to our channel. And don't forget to check out more tiny house stories. And tours. Oh, and don't forget to join us on Patreon. And again, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Take it easy, guys.